My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we will be looking at Google Slides and I'm going to show you how you can make sure that a single slide in your slide deck is always updated no matter where you copy it to. Now this can be very useful whenever you're creating slides for multiple classrooms or maybe you have some slide decks that have a single slide with some statistics or some numbers that are regularly updated. Now unless you want to go in and update each and every slide deck to have the most recent numbers and figures, well then this trick is just for you. We are going to start by looking at our first presentation. Now here I have a presentation and I've titled it Presentation 1. It has lots of information. On the second slide you can see some basic stats. Our Apps Events channel currently has over 7,000 subscribers. It talks about how you can return each week because there is updated content on the channel and we also have that name there, Apps Events. We're going to change a couple of these things later on. Let's create that second presentation and let's imagine that that presentation is a presentation I'm going to deliver to a different school or a different class group. So here in this new tab, I'm going to type in slides.new and this is a great way of creating new slideshows without having to go into the actual slides application or Google Drive. Let's select a different theme. So let's say that we have this theme right here and we are going to title this presentation Presentation 2. Subtitle, let's delete that for now. Now my second slide, I want that to be the same slide I had before, but I want to link them to the previous presentation. So we're going to go to presentation 1, and here I'm going to make sure that I have the correct slide selected. As you can see from this orange color, the second slide is selected, so I'm going to right click and copy. Now I return to my second slide deck and I'm going to, in this gray area, right click and paste. Now as soon as I paste it, I get additional options. Here I can either match the style in this presentation, keep the original styles, or I can link and keep the original styles. Let's go ahead and link these slides together. I'm going to click on link and keep original styles. This slide is now linked to the previous presentation. In other words, I can make changes and those changes will be reflected across multiple slide decks. You can also see that by looking here at the top where you have this additional icon that says linked slide options. When I click on the drop down, I can open my source, which is presentation one. I can unlink these slides and do my own thing for this slide deck or I can check all the different linked objects. Now, when you click on linked objects, here on the right hand side, you will see what has been linked. Here, what it's linked, well, it's linked to presentation one. Let's go ahead and make some changes to presentation one, and then we'll come back to the second slide deck and see if those changes have been reflected. Remember, it says 7,000 subscribers. Well, let's return to presentation one. In presentation one, we're going to change this and we're going to say we have over 7,100 subscribers because our subscribers are constantly increasing and thank you for that, really appreciate it. Now I'm also going to change what it says on the right hand side because these episodes are sponsored by both Apps Events and Acer. And so let's go ahead and add Acer and Acer. We're also going to add in Acer's logo. So at the top, we're going to go to insert, image, search the web. And let's just quickly search for Acer. Here we have Acer's logo, insert into our slide deck. I'm going to resize that a little bit. There we go. And add it beneath that text. So the changes we've made now is we've changed the 7000 to 7100, changed Apps Events to Apps Events and Acer, and we've added in Acer's logo. Now let's go to the second slide deck and see if that has been changed as well. I'm going to go to the second slide deck. And as you can see, at the top, we have the update button. So let's press that, update, and automatically all the changes are reflected on this slide. So all in all, linking slides can be incredibly useful, especially when we're talking about statistics, information that changes over time. And so in this way, you can make sure that all your different presentations are updated by just updating your source presentation. 
I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to that channel. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.